break the ice, bro. Nice work, buddy. Logan's. Check that bad girl out. Such a good dad. Wendy's for lunch. Hey, put that down. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I know this is kind of out of the realm of what you thought you were gonna be watching right now. Just a little context, it's Sunday afternoon. Yeah. My wife's out of town and I'm on daddy duty this weekend, so I've been trying to shoot this intro. Do you, do you want to come here? Yes. Okay, come here. This is my daughter, Lincoln. Lincoln, say hi. Hi. I just want to introduce you guys to Drift and what that's all about. Throughout the year, um, similar to like Land of the Free, we're going to be having these mini-series. So Drift is all about steelhead fishing. It's about us getting out on the water, enjoying what there is for a uh, opportunity out there, whether it's in a drift boat. Oh, yeah, red. 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 Whether it's in a drift boat from the bank, we just like uh, going out and chasing steelhead. So that's a little bit about drift. It's gonna be uh, an ongoing series here. Comment if, below if you guys like that. I mean, we're, we're gonna kind of segment things out. We've got bear season coming up. So that's gonna be our predator series. We've got gear reviews coming up gear turkey hunting which would be spur yeah oh we got my uh, we have waterfowl that'll be the be uh, this fall coming up so we're just kind of breaking that down into its own little segments back quack yeah yeah we just want to kind of bring back some of this uncut so as as we're coming up trent will join in here and then uh trevor and steve is as well yep there you go there's another duck call that's that's what that um, a little bit about this trip this is our fourth annual steelhead trip with hush the, the cool <laughs> eric strandy you got your uh, competition cut out for you here a little bit about this trip so our fourth annual it's a tradition that we've set up uh, four years ago on this trip is when casey and bmac really kind of explained what youtube was how we could do it and uh, it kind of gave us that shove to, uh, to, to yeah, to, to uh, become YouTubers. So huge thanks to them for them pushing us. Uh oh. And then two years ago on this same exact trip is when Trent quit his job and uh, went full time. Born and raised. <clears throat> it's a special trip for us. We have a lot of fun. This year was a little bit different. On the first day, we had some adverse water conditions, so we were not in the drift boats. We're on a small stream, but it gave us a chance to run down memory lane on uh, kind of where we first started and tagged out uh, at lunch. So anyways, with that, no further ado, it's uh, back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, welcome back to Born and Raised Outdoors. Our channel um, is all about being outdoors, whether it's elk hunting, deer hunting, whatever. But we love to steal at fish. Today, we're in Southern Oregon, and we're gonna bobber fish a small stream here. So, here we go. I don't know went with the jig there's fish in here they're rolling you can see them every once in a while that's what i got going on now it looks well when it's all wet it doesn't look like much at all but i'm just thinking something different everybody's been trying beads everything there's fish here you just gotta figure out a way to catch the dog on things Oh, 
fucking made him, huh? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bike just turned on. Yep. Beautiful little wild fish. We got one. Yeah! Yeah! Ready? Oh yeah. Sweet. Woo! Yeah! Way to break the ice, bro. Nice work, buddy. Switch it up to that uh, orange and white bead. So, the guys that were in here before just absolutely beat on the fish. Before they left, they said orange and white. Well, they were fishing a soft bead, didn't have one. But I found a red dot bead. Rigged it up, pitched it over there where those fish were rolling. Bobber went down, set the hook. Right in the corner of the mouth. Cody caught a fish. So we celebrate. Put your face, you gotta put your face close. Close your eyes. <laughs> that was very empty. <coughs> it was anticlimactic. Okay. Oh, watch out. Casey's gotta be the first one in. Well, yeah, if you're not first, you last time we were like So we've got a bobber, runaway bobber here. Told him I'm not gonna rig him up again if he doesn't get it back. How many hundreds of dollars has he lost today in gear? You think? I'm down about I think somewhere around 250. Yeah. About the same as same money as we spent on groceries yesterday. <laughs> Just so about. We're, so we're calling it even. We're we're, we're calling it even. <laughs> Check it out, dude. Little worm. Sick. Hey, okay. Since you're over there, you go and hook me. Skip it off the lock. You're joking, aren't you? Trent. I wish I was. We got it? Got it. Nailed it. Okay, go give me an unhook, would you, bud? Thanks, pal. You win a prize. Oh. Got one. Nice work, bud. Good job. What do you take one for the team? Pick back all those things. Hey, by the way, Trent, yeah. he recovered his bobber. Nice. And got a pink worm. Oh, so we doubled up. And save this double set up. Tell me about this place in the first DVD. Kind of brings back a lot of memories, obviously, being in here. This was the uh, first DVD that we did, which was tagged out. We came into this bar and back over in this corner back here behind me, in front of the fire stove. We had a big old fire going, put a chair up, I believe, and just talked about it. Yeah. We're ready. As probably you figured out in the video now, Trevor and I are brothers. We've been brothers for quite a while. <laughs> why would you even say why something? Would you, why that would just, you do that? that just, why would you do that? I think it was if hilarious. your intelligence level is here, it's <laughs> now right know. here. Anyway. Been brothers for a while. <laughs> we started out 
having no budget whatsoever and it just kind of has grown into something that we're just trying to make work and we're making some sacrifices here and and we're wanting to show you what it's like to be out on the west coast of Oregon a, a do it yourself hunt with no guides, no fences, no no feeders, no tree stands and just, you know, doing the best we can with what we know how to do and to show that to you and and show you that you can do it too. I mean, you know, anyone in the world could do it if they wanted to just talked about the whole hunt. We did the whole, hey, this is Bubba on the porch, reminiscing. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, back when Ty was here, they remodeled this since. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty neat old memories. So I'm pretty sure the last time I sat in this chair, or actually it was probably right over there. But I guess the whole thing about bow hunting, you know, and this comes through to me, you know, the highs and lows and the trials and tribulations, and I kind of said that throughout the whole time, there's always highs and there's always lows, and it seems like the lows make the highs that much better. Toss sounds fantastic. Really? Hey, Rick's Philly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want fries? Uh, yes, please. Get tots. Everybody what was the to... second to last thing you said? Just two tots. Waffle fries. Waffle fries? Waffle fries. Well, let's do the waffle fries. We, we uh, have been watching the fishermen. Go have by. you? Yeah. Has it been? Is it right? fishermen today? No, not today. Not today? maintained in Venezuela. There's a lot of developments coming out of Venezuela right now. Let's get to Permio with the Yeah, we got a nice view out there. Yeah, Grandpa's been busy cleaning up the debris. So we're at Grandma and Grandpa's house today. So anyway, it was good to see him. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks, but check that out. If we don't catch anything steelhead wise, yeah. We can always hit the koi pond. And look at Logan. Logan's. how bad it's got that's kind of how bad it's got so we're gonna hit the uh, river down here it looks good it's I really really regret as I said earlier I really regret not having a boat today in this river <laughs> it was rough we thought it was gonna be high and muddy everything it's, else is blown out but uh this would have fished it's good so I got that's I got, actually bigger than that's almost as big as a steelhead Cody caught it's a dandy yeah No worries over nickels and dimes Or a nine to five grind I gotta get loose sometimes In trouble 